Question number five. We feel you have a kind of pan-Europe sense. Could you let us know your trans-European feeling? Since we are the first post-war generation, we grew up in a cosmopolitan world. We live near the borders to Belgium, France and Holland and Switzerland. We learn several European languages, so we feel quite home in these countries. Germany is surrounded by so many different countries which influence the country, so it is natural to feel pan-European. Question number 13. Please let us know your next album and your recent works. We never talk about our next projects before they are published. Question number 15. If you have complete discography and biography, please give me or let us know where. We are not very interested in our own history and discography, so if you want to know, you may call EMI or Warner Brothers or buy books like The Art of Electronic Music from Keyboard Magazine. Question number 16. Please let us know the work or person which inspired you much, not only in the music world. There would be hundreds of people to talk about. Just to name a few, Fritz Lang, Sergei Eisenstein, the Japanese filmmaker Ozu, Kurt Schwitters, Joseph Beuys, James Brown, Dadaism, Futurism. Question number 17. Listening to your music, Africa Bambata said it is funk. We think the same point is repeat music and rhythm. But also have you made a ragtime special rhythm for funk and black music intentionally? And black music intentionally? Question number 18. On making human beat by computer, how did you calculate the operation of the rhythm? Do you analyze the human beat by computer and make your beat? Our beat is only played by computers. Question number 19. We found cybernetics concept in your album Man Machine. Brian Eno also uses the concept of cybernetics in his music. How do you think about cybernetics? What kind of influence music gives to human body? Any interaction between machines and human beings could be described as a cybernetic situation. Since they influence each other mutually, for example, driving a car or playing an instrument, and to question 19b, musical influence on human body, look what happens in discos. People shake their body to the rhythm of music. I hope this was an answer to your question. I think there's a lot of literature about it and a question as old as mankind. And there's certainly still a lot of things to be researched. The human body and brain can be compared with computers if you want. There's also electricity within us and the process of thinking and sensual perception in the nerves is also of electric nature. So it's certainly a very uh, obvious connection between electronic music and human beings, I think. Question number 20. How do you think about the development of Technopop? We think sampling music, for example, Trevor Horn, Out of Noise, is the form of developed in their music, digital and analog became Europe, we think. 
it is possible to digitalize natural sounds. Do you think it is the evolution of techno music? We want to ask you if you are interested in sampling. We think you used it in Electric Cafe. And how do you think about the possibility of sampling? As far as I re can remember, we used sampling already, already in 1977 on Trans Europe Express and also on Robot Man Machine and so on. So it's not that you are uh, is it? it. So the whole evolution of techno pop music is very uh, gradual, it just didn't happen from one day to the other. And one day, maybe a journalist found this word from technology and from pop music and combined it and said techno pop. I think that's how it happened. And now it's a label for a lot of different music. I hope this is uh, the answer to your questions. How do you do? Wahashi no te wahan go u wa fi mi ti te i mi mi te su. This was Japanese sampling from 1981. Thank you and goodbye. Sayonara. Arigato. Hey.